more than 10 years, Pakistan has been a key ally in the U.S. war on terror. Are you saying that it will no longer be an ally? It will be only an ally in peace. It's not going to be an ally in war. Pakistan, 50,000 Pakistanis have died. This country has been radicalized. We are more insecure than ever before. There's something like $80 billion that this country has lost in this war. The U.S. aid is about $20 billion. Country is sinking into poverty, into chaos. The state is getting weaker. There is a consensus in Pakistan that there is no military solution. So therefore, we will look for a political solution. We would want to be an ally in peace with the U.S. It's time to give peace a chance for both Pakistan and the U.S. We've had enough of fighting. We want peace. And if peace means that you are anti-U.S., then people do not understand. Uh, uh, unfortunately, some people in U.S. think that unless you do whatever the U.S. tells you to do, uh, you are anti-U.S. I believe that it's time for U.S. to uh, make Pakistan a friend rather than a client state, uh, a hired gun which has paid money to do its bidding. I think that that time is over. Pakistan has passed that stage. Uh, the country can no longer take this war anymore. And I think for U.S. also, they should, they should hope that this election brings a partner in peace. And the U.S. needs a peace partner to exit from Afghanistan. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.